in the same context, steel industry and the manufacturing sector happens to take a big role to play for today. We call it Make in India. We talk of Atmanur Bharat and we talk of a developed India. We cannot shy off from our responsibilities towards having a green promise of a clean and green. You know, imp impending crisis of uh, increasing carbon load on the earth and it is an urgent need imperative to check it as some of the dignities were saying that the uh, steel industry is very uh, sensitive and it, can, it, it adds to the load <coughs> carbon footprint because obvious reason but carbon is used as a reductant, reductant and for development Good morning, Gautam uh, Goswami from Typhet and Scientist G there and uh, reading a couple of articles in Typhet as I mentioned about technology which is going to be part of the private responsibility I am Director of Rosa Technology Private Limited so, Rusa Technology is working in industrial automation industry 4.1 robotics. So, one part of this uh, is uh, we are supplying to uh, steel industry like Tata Steel. So, one part of that is uh, how we can make this technology non energy invasive. Right now, the energy required in this is uh, humongous because all the things are right now working on electronics or either the electrical systems. We are trying to make them non energy invasive as much as possible. Welcome to all the delegates and a very good morning to all of you. I seek the privilege to be here this morning on a small call which we had uh, with the Professor Sutradhar when he joined as a director at NIT Jamshedpur. In fact, let me put it on record, he is a man of sustenance, he is a man of deliveries, and he's a man with a lot of wisdom. I know him for the past years when he has been a director at NIT Manipur. In fact, I called upon him, the last one, to congratulate him for his new responsibility. And then we had some discussions. And now Typhet finds itself here this morning at your campus in your own city, the city of manufacturing, Jamshedpur. I congratulate you, sir, for your kind gesture <clears throat> and to enable us, the whole TIFAC team to be here, being represented by my colleagues, senior colleague Dr. Goswami and my dynamic young colleague Divakar Singhji here. In fact, for the people who might be a little uh, unknowing about TIFAC, TIFAC is an autonomous institution of Department of Science Technology which has been in existence for the past 30, more than 35 years and with an acronym being defined as Technology Information Forecasting Assessment Council. This institution has proud privilege of having the chairmen like Dr. Kalam, Dr. Kakotkar, Dr. Chidambaram, Dr. Saraswat and many such people. <coughs> These all people have been the signatory in their own field of science and technology for India as such. And the TIFAC is very aptly defined as a technology think tank for government of India. We work in close tandem with Niti Aayog and the Prime Minister's office to identify, to scout technologies, to forecast technologies, to assess technologies and to demonstrate technologies for the nation. As we all know <coughs> that the world has taken a new stride into clean technologies, green technologies. The word, the buzzword de decarbonization is around the world. And to address the same, our Honorable Prime Minister Shinarin Modi ji in his last meeting at COP26, which was held at Glasgow, has said that India should comply 
to the Panchamrit goals, which calls that 50% of total renewable energy, total energy to be produced through renewable resources by 2030, 1 gigatons of CO2 to be, to be reduced every year till 2030, and seemingly a larger milestone that India should become zero carbon by 2070. In the same attempt, TIFAC has been mandated to identify technologies for various sectors which can lead India towards decarbonization route. And the program on technology need assessment TIFAC is working upon for the past few months. We have to give a recommendatory note to the government of India with MOFCC, that's the Ministry of Environment and Forest and Climate Control, DIH, and all industries like what is the route to be adopted towards decarbonization and what are the technologies to be needed for decarbonization and how we can come up as a clean nation. Technologies requirement, the incentives to be given, the product quality further, and the time horizon which are need to be defined towards achieving this decarbonization pathway. So probably today the way day which we call to Guru Purnima ironically, probably you the gurus of your industry can give the right dakshana to the to the nation in evolving a clean process ahead. So with these words, once again I welcome you all and I'm very optimistic in going back with a note on recommendation or like what are the processes, what are the technological requirements, what are the policies needs to be addressed upon to the government of India to pave a path of decarbonized industry sector. Thank you. There is a whole team. Let me crystallize few more points uh, uh, what where Mother Sivasa was closed What is our expectation from you today? What we have to deliver to government of India? They don't understand. Because decarbonization is being talked about last six months. Rather one year when in Glasgow Prime Minister uh, released the Pancham May. <coughs> 2072 we have to decarbonize. That's fine. Now what is the immediate need for government of India? And that immediate need we are passing on to you to equip our knowledge to serve between government of India and you. You know, TIFAC is considered as a technology resource for Ministry of Environment Policy in climate change field. It started in 2015 when <coughs> government of India submitted INDC. You all may be knowing that INDC, every country submitted intended national driving contribution and TIFAC the organization is a foresight or technology think tank. They prepared the next 30 years technology needs. After that, 2016 to 2018, TIFAC prepared technology needs report for government of India. Then Global Technology Watch Group, again for climate change, government of India. Now this time, <coughs> very specific request from MOEFCC, because in COP28, which will be held in <coughs> end of November to December, probably PM will go. And in this international forum, negotiation happens. Developing nations, underdeveloped nations, developed nations sit together. And everybody bargain what you can give us, especially developing nations, underdeveloped nations. They, you, we are committed for, uh, committed for climate change issues. But we need X, Y, Z from developed nations. We need finance, we need technologies. We don't have, but the commitment we have. Here today, we are here. By August or September beginning, we have to give a very specific information to Ministry of Forest, Environment Forest, which will be given to PM or other by them, that what are the XYZ technologies from hard to habit sectors for which we are here today, transport sectors, especially mitigation sector, where technologies which we need from other developed nations. 
we don't have. So that you can bargain in the international forum. They will, yes, we can do it, but give us these, these technologies. These technologies are available in these, these countries. Europe, you have these technologies. US, you have these technologies. Can you give it to us? At what cost? How it will be transferred? How our capacity building needs to be enhanced to adapt those technologies? That information we are here to capture. That's why in my presentation, which I have not shown, we are creating a table. For example, steel. You all know the methodology of processes. But where these, in which processes, what are the technologies which you feel India should adopt, but we don't have? Can we flag those technologies? Even if we, you are not able to flag which country can give us, even if you flag ABC technologies, two days discussion if we can flag seven to eight or ten or twelve technologies for all, and then maybe we can find out which country is having the technology, what are the cost of this technology, so that it can equip Prime Minister to bargain in the National Forum. Yes, you can you give us technologies. We are here for